Shepard coming home, waking up with Riley Rose and Seamus. Want to be on TV. Yeah, we're going to catch up with our good friend Stephen for screen time with Stephen. Good morning. Morning, guys. How are you How going? Are we? You were a bit sick going last good. week. Are you okay? Yes, I'm much better. I think I've got the flu that um, everyone's got going around with yeah. the weird you, weather we're having. Do you need me to take your temperature? Yeah, please. Okay, <laughs> I'll be over there with a the thermometer. <laughs> Seamus will tuck you in and bring you some yeah. soup. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what do you got for us this morning? I'm, I've just been watching the trailer for what you're going to be reviewing for us. It's on Netflix at the moment. You can stream it now. What's it called? Yeah, so this show is called Nailed It. So it's actually been getting some crazy good reviews um, where they're saying, if you need to binge watch something, you binge watch Nail It. Um, so I did a bit of travel this week. So I thought I'll give it a go. And this one's about some amateur cooks. So maybe they're into baking or you know doing desserts. And they need to do um, replicas of some well-known cakes or desserts that are done by well-known chefs or cooks. Um, they've got two rounds, there's three contestants, and I guess the best performing person wins 10 grand. So um, essentially it's like a master chef, except these people aren't actually, is that it's plebs like us. <laughs> yeah, this is like someone like me who's like, yeah, I occasionally make biscuits and they never turn out well. Yeah. I'll go on the show. This is um, why I don't like watching cooking shows or anything to do with food like a food show because I can never recreate it that well and it just makes me hungry and frustrated. Yeah, definitely. These people cannot create anything well. Um, every dish they turn out is a disaster. Um, <laughs> I, I found it wasn't funny, pretty much. I thought it was a bit boring. Okay. But it did have the aspect that it didn't have um, all the drama and tears like MasterChef where you need to have a backstory to get on the show. Totally. So do we find out anything about the, these people or is it just like, just regular? I uh, know, you, you just get a little um, intro of them. Hey, I, I like to cook sometimes, but I'm a, a busy guy at work, so I don't really get a chance and here's me baking some cookies and they're a mess. So <laughs> nailed it on Netflix, miss out on it, hey? Don't watch it. Yeah, yeah, I'll say it nails nothing. Um, yeah! And <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, how, far, how many episodes did you get in before you decided that? I got into three, so I thought that was a that was a good thing. They're about uh, thirty to forty minutes each. Oh, mate, you went further than That's me. Long. I don't. I don't I like when people I'm like. Sorry. Oh, just you know, after the first two seasons, it's a little slow, mate. I give up five minutes into the first episode. Yeah, yeah well, I downloaded pre-downloaded for a flight, so I think I'll stuck with it. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, nothing enough. else. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good old jet stuff. <laughs> I love it. Stephen, thank you so much for catching up with us. I think uh, Thanks, we've actually guys. got a call coming in. So stay on the line. We'll just chat to our friend Bev from Rutherglen. She might have something to say about the cooking show as well. It's, it's nailed our friend it. Bev. Hello. Bev from Rutherglen. You bloody beauty. Bev, have you watched Nailed It on Netflix? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Riley Rose, Seamus, yeah. hello. hello. Hello, Have you watched Nailed It on Netflix? No, no. I haven't, no. You a big fan of cooking shows? Cooking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not too bad in oh. cooking, yeah. Very good. Yeah. D- Happy Easter to you, <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> Thanks, Bev. We Thanks, absolutely Bev. love you. Are you going to be handing out Easter eggs over in Rutherglen? Uh... Yeah, the weekend. Oh, lovely. Oh, beautiful. Sunday. I'm going up to school today. They break up dressed as the Easter Bunny. Oh, that's oh, so cute. Nice. Yeah, the kids love it. Oh, good. Good <laughs> on you, Bev. Up, up the street Saturday oh, and Sunday and right. a couple of houses, two or three houses. Well, Excellent. if you live in Rutherglen, look out for Bev. Did you hear our friend Bev, Stephen? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, she's a lovely, lovely Beautiful. lady who just decides to call Thank up you. completely unrelated and talk about whatever she wants. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> she's the best, Anne. Beautiful. Well, if you want to check out Nailed It, uh, Stephen's saying bother. it didn't nail it, but it is on Netflix uh, um, streaming now. Mate, what are we going to talk about next week? Oh, yeah. next week? Well, I'm thinking we could either chat about um, RuPaul yeah. or Lady Bird. Yes, yes, Lady Bird. Really? I saw at the movies earlier this year as well, and RuPaul has been popping up all over my Facebook. It's about a drag queen, yeah? Yeah, it's a, I'm finding the next drag superstar. Oh, I love it. That sounds pretty good. All right, Stephen, we'll Thanks, chat to Steve. you next week. Enjoy. Happy Easter. Happy oh, Easter. you too. Riley Rose and Seamus.